Hi, this is Lucille Malik. And I'm Jude Malik. We are calling from my dad, Chris Malik, who is Disney Chicago on Twitter. And we live in Chicago. You we are, are about to listen to ResortLoop.com. Let's start the show. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Thank you. Hey, welcome everybody. Ma- Bob, <laughs> was that the cutest open you could have heard or what? Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. It, it almost brought a tear to my eye, I gotta oh, tell you. That, that was awesome. That was off the scale in cuteness. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. It was beautiful. Oh, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the I, show is all downhill now. <laughs> I'm you, we can't follow that. No. Oh, uh, my gosh. Welcome to resortloop.com, awesome. everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm a much less uh, cute Tim Scott. <laughs> and I'm even lesser cute Bob Collar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is, uh, this is our Route 66 episode. Excellent. Yes, episode number 66. Yeah, that, it, we, it has no significance to Route 66. That's all I could come No, up with. we don't have 66 anything, although we did enjoy cars. <laughs> yes, we did. There you go. <laughs> we should have had this be our car show, but uh, it is not because we are uh, we are talking some Halloween stuff this show. Yes, I thought we would talk about uh, what kind of costumes people are going to wear, you know, either for themselves or their kids, and what, maybe what costumes they would like to see. That is a great idea. As always, you, the brilliant one with the great ideas. Oh, well... Thank you so. very much. I don't believe you, but thanks. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that check. Still stuck in the mail. <laughs> it is. It and, is. Anyway, uh, let's do some shout outs, shall we? Let's go out there. Why don't you start them off, Bob? All right. We got uh, uh, from our Facebook page, we got our pal Andy Lambert says, Hi, Bob and Tim. Loving the show as usual with all the great tips and especially your super duper looper blooper at the end of the podcast. <laughs> Trust me, those come way too easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not like they're hard to find. <laughs> right. right. Uh, he goes on to say, my wife and I just got back from a fortnight in Florida. Very nice. And, and, uh, very nice. After listening to all your shows since the beginning, we visited a couple of resorts and my wife fell in love with the art of animation. Can't wait to see a few more the next time they're back in Florida or, as they call it, home. I uh, just wanted to give a big shout out to uh, both of us for a fantastic job. Thank you very much. We are so humbled by that. Absolutely. Uh, um, you are present uh, an informative show. You present informative. Uh, we can't read. You present an informative <laughs> show with great tips in a manner which is fun to listen to, despite never having having met you. My wife and I feel you are both good friends. Well, thank you very much, Thanks. Andy. We wow. really appreciate it. That, that's nice. It's that very, nice. very nice. You can't. You, I'm not helping you move. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't lift anything anyway. <laughs> well, that's true. That is true. Oh, our friend uh, Jump Now sent us a note. Said he wanted to drop us a line to tell us how we saved him $500. What? I know. <laughs> Can we get some kickback on that? I'm I, just I think we need like 10% or something. I'm not sure how that works. But he said he usually has to have someone pick up the leaves in the fall. But he's not going to be needing that service this year. Because he's going to take some uh, quiet time and rake with his iPod so we can catch up on our podcast. All right. He stumbled upon it a few weeks ago when he got a serious case of the Disney sickness. And we know how that goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he says Resort Loop has quickly uh, taken over his listening time. He loves the chemistry, the warm voices, positivity. We do try to stress that, actually. Humor. Yeah. Well, that's just us. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes on to say a bunch of really, really nice words. So thank you very much for the kind words. And uh, think of us when you're picking up those leaves. Yeah, we appreciate that. Thanks so much, guys. I got one more, Tim. Uh, that's coming off of our uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, this comes from uh, our good pal, uh, Matt Holly. Oh, uh, Matt. Goes, uh, yeah, M Holly 579 on the Twitter. Um, remember, we were talking about the, uh, you can't find Mickey and Minnie. He found Mickey and Minnie at the Animal Kingdom. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, to take a picture with. So uh, well, we appreciate that info. So Probably in their jungle garb. Yes, most likely, I would, I would think. Or camouflage. Um, camo. Or maybe they were, uh, you know, Maybe they, they were uh, let go from the government. Since, oh, you know, wow. At National Park. No, everybody's oh. back to work. <laughs> They're back to work. Yay. Everybody's back to work. Thank goodness. Woo. All right. Let's keep things moving. Excellent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So, Tim, uh, tell us again. What, what is our show about today? The show topic today we sent out to the listeners was, what Halloween costume will you or your children be wearing this season? 
And if you don't know what they're going to wear, you can't find what you want, what costume would you like Disney to make? What would you like to buy that you can't find right now? Ooh, I like that. Yes. That's that's very good. And then we'll have so- ours at the end, but... <laughs> Oh, it's not that exciting for me. So, <laughs> I've been I've been thinking about it. Oh, I, I don't think I should wear the costume that uh, that uh, I wish I could wear. But go ahead, hmm. go ahead, Tim. You start us off. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm so concerned. That's called a teaser. Yes. That's right. Well, this is fun. Uh, Steve Sarah Walters off Facebook said, uh, "No costume." Their teen son, so he's a teenager, is going to dress as an IRS agent <laughs> and go to the rich neighborhood. And request that they submit forty percent of their candy. <laughs> <laughs> she figures they can be done after five hours. So, oh come on! Fortunately, well, the government's back up and running, so we know they could be out there. Yeah, they won't let you do that now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be impersonating an agent. Uh, right. Ooh, uh, very cool. Don't I, don't I know that? Oh, you learned that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, our buddy uh, Norman Bates uh, says if uh, he could get a top quality. Uh, Tower of Terror bellhop costume. He'd be all in on that. That would be cool. I, I wouldn't mind being a uh, Tower of Terror guy. Absolutely. No, no, no. That'd be awesome. Yeah. You just go around and push people down like they're... No, I'm, I don't. Don't push anybody <laughs> down. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. Uh, Casey Kolb, a friend off Facebook, she also says she has five girls. God bless her. <laughs> and their costumes are going to be a pirate, Belle, Cinderella, Minnie Mouse, and Tinkerbell. Oh, and uh, she's going to be so Snow White. The mom will be Snow White. Oh, how nice is that? That will be a send us a picture of all you guys dressed up. That'd be awesome. Absolutely. In fact, she's gonna she's gonna have two more kids. She could have uh, the whole seven dwarfs. Now. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but then you got to do that Sophie's choice. Now, who am I going to call Dopey? Oh, <laughs> who's going to grow up to be the doctor? Well, that's the husband. Is Dopey? Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, it is in my house. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Nicely played. Oh. Nicely played. <laughs> uh, our pal uh, Ollie Oliver on uh, Twitter goes by Ollie Rage. He uh, he actually sent me some pictures. Very cool. He is going as Brer Fox. Ooh, to Mickey's not so scary uh, Halloween party. So, and he actually he did a very good job on that costume. Uh, no nose though. He doesn't have the Brer Fox nose. So. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, so very cool. Let's see. Let's go over to Trisha Doe on Facebook. She said Ella, you know, I'm assuming that was her daughter, wore a periwinkle because she loved being her sister. <laughs> ah, and uh, Abby wore an Incredibles costume, and Anthony, her husband, wore J- a Jack Sparrow one. Yeah, Jack Sparrow's popular. He's a big one. Oh, and then uh, Trisha Doe goes on to say she wore Tinkerbell at the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, and she's going to wear it home. It also it looks like because it's a little uh-huh. more chilly there in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> a little more so than Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Tink- Tinkerbell doesn't hang in uh, in the north in the wintertime, <laughs> that's for sure. Her wings freeze over. It's a whole thing. She has to get de-iced. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you. Oh, uh, Again, send uh, pictures. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, uh, Alan, uh, or uh, Norman Bates, mm-hmm. he, he wanted to know if there's a Resort Loop Tim costume. You know what there is. <laughs> I, I saw this. <laughs> it is. It is. Where, Didn't you see where, it? Where can I find that? Well, you have to find a Yeti costume <laughs> and, t- <laughs> and tear a little bit of hair just out of the top, you know, because you might have to be losing a little bit of hair on top. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did you see my reply, though? Uh, I, I did, yes. Uh-huh. yes. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Okay, uh, people have to look it up on Facebook. Or, I'm sorry, on Twitter. That was a Twitter comment. Uh, I was feeling violent. <laughs> Uh, our pals at uh, DizRadio.com, they want to go as uh, the Skull Rock Band outfit uh, from the uh, Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Parade. I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. I'll have to, I'll have to Google. Well, to Google, maybe find that because, you know, we've not been down there for that time of year, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, my son. Starting the school was, year. He's like, Dad, come on. We want to go. <laughs> That's so. right. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Oh, we know Keith Brown. Hey, Chef Keith. Yeah, absolutely. He said he would like to see the classic Robin Hood characters. Ooh, yes. that's, that would be very cool. He said he would totally rock a Little John or a Friar Tuck costume. <laughs> Those would be cool. <laughs> Those would be cool. That'd be all right. Yeah. That would be all right. Uh, Safari Mike at uh, Jumbo, everyone. He, Him and his family uh, went as uh, Gravity Falls. Oh. That's, that's a, yeah, that TV Disney show. Disney Channel show. Uh, yeah, so uh, that day, and he sent a picture along with that. That was very cool. Looks <laughs> looks pretty good. 
That's outstanding. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let's see. Kevin Terry says uh, his three-year-old daughter will be going as Cinderella. Oh, nothing better. Uh, the little girl just as Cinderella. How cute is that? But then um, he said he'd also like to see more uh, like costumes from the Emperor's New Groove. Maybe like a Cusco, the Llama. Oh, that would be very cool. Yeah, that, that was a good. That was a good character movie. Pacha. Yeah. That, that I I I really enjoyed Emperor's New Groove. I thought that was very good. And and the TV show, the cartoon was pretty good yes. too. So, uh, our buddy uh, Wyatt France uh, on the Twitter, he uh, he says he <laughs> are you ready for this? He wishes he had seven kids and he could dress them as the seven dwarfs. <laughs> he said that would be awesome, but he only has one, and his son's going as Iron Man. Ooh. So see, yeah, yeah, you're forgetting that now Disney owns Marvel and. Say that is true. Oh, and Star Wars. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. Uh huh. The possibilities are endless. Now they're endless. Yes. Now they're endless. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Lucas said he would like to see the uh, one-eyed monster from Monsters Inc. He can't remember his name though. <laughs> uh, well, that's Mike Wazowski. Uh, yeah, I could follow that up because yeah. uh, our our pal Krista, who is our, our Browns fan, three seventeen on the Twitter. Go Browns! Woo! We're, we're, we're uh, three, three and three. Yeah, Five hundred. Who'd have thought? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> after we started, the, everybody calm down. That's It'll right. Be okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, she says they just went just just this week. They went to uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, uh, and her son, uh, and uh, her her son was uh, Mike Wazowski, and she went as Sully. Oh, cool. Uh, her sister and her family, they went as uh, the characters from uh, Oz, the Great and Powerful. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. Yet another Disney uh, film. So you could you could go as Oz, the Great and Powerful. Now, I like this one. I like I like how the girl thinks. You ready for this one? I'm ready. Mike Cranston off Facebook said on their way to the school in the morning, they were listening to Mouse World Radio. Little shout out to them. His five year old daughter, Maddie, told him that they need to go to Disney World so she can get a Tinkerbell costume for Halloween. <laughs> See how she's working it? Uh, that is a smart kid. She is brilliant. <laughs> I wonder what he said. I wonder what the, what the answer was. Did they go? Uh, Are they going? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Come on, Mike. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that it. Is, uh, Kimberly Littlejohn on on Facebook says uh, she is going out with friends dressed as the Cheshire Cat. That's I. I didn't even think about that. Oh yes, that's that's a good one. That is good, and, and she's looking forward to it. That I I don't doubt it. Uh, wish uh, Disney would sell the dress down looks for the princesses, or I have always wanted to wear the Sleeping Beauty dress that changes from pink to blue and black while she is dancing at the end of the and back. I should say not black. Mm-hmm. She is dancing at the end of the movie. Oh. That would that would be that would be an expensive dress. I'm sure <laughs> it but, could be uh, done. It could be done, and you know, uh, Disney just just put out that line of uh, wedding dresses uh, based on the princesses. So, yes, uh, that may very well be coming. I'm sure they're probably taking a look if uh, if those wedding dresses go well. Um, they might do that. I can see that happening. Yes, excellent. Good friend Joe Quattrochi just simply hey, says, "Joe, he's going as Agent P." Oh man, Joe, you got to send us a picture. I want to see. If he's got the whole duck bill and the whole nine yards. Absolutely. That would be cool. Uh, Monica Rodriguez Pinto says uh, her daughter is going to be Jesse from Toy Story. Oh, cool. That's always a good one. That's good. You see, don't want to walk around with that Sarah McLaughlin song playing, though. That just kind of would make everybody kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe Jesse from uh, Toy Story Three. Oh, that's right. Oh, she, maybe she's playing the sympathy card for more candy. I see how it's working. Uh, <laughs> she's just playing. She's walking around with a CD playing in the background. <laughs> nice. I oh, like Monica, that idea, Monica. That's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Mark Lepper off uh, Facebook also says he would go as Sorcerer Mickey if he has anything to say about it. I like you know, that. That is very cool. I like that one. I love it. And uh, we also got uh, our good pal, Rebecca Toon, who uh, sent us all those great pictures uh, of her last trip down at uh, Walt Disney World. She sent us some more. And this was her uh, her son and uh, potential future daughter-in-law. Oh. Uh, Bailey and Andrew at uh, Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party at the end of September. They went as hipster versions of Prince Eric and Ariel. 
Bailey wore a name tag that read, I can't go back to the ocean. It's too, quote unquote, current. Nice. <laughs> I see you're doing the fish face. I love it. I like it. That was that was very nice. Very, very cool. That is cool. Thanks for sharing that. That is very nice. Yeah. All the pictures. We got a lot of great pictures off of that. Our listeners are good photographers. What can I say? Yes, they are. All right, Bob. I think we're to the point now. What is your costume? Or are your kids dressing up? What would your costume be? What's going on over there at the uh, collars? Uh, uh, well, un- unfortunately, my kids have reached that uh, that teenage uh, age where too cool. they are too cool for uh, um, <laughs> for costumes. <laughs> Although my daughter's still going to a Halloween party, she was originally going to go as uh, Captain Kirk. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't ask me. Uh, it, these I don't. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so they are not, uh, they're not dressing up this year. Very, Aww. very disappointed. Although I will say my son, one of my son's uh, best costumes, uh, he went as Iron Man mm-hmm. uh, right after the first Iron Man came out. And we went down to uh, a store, a hardware store, and they had those little round battery-powered lights, the LED lights. And we, we uh, taped it to the inside of the, uh, the Iron Man suit so it actually glowed. So that was kind of cool. We just did a little, you know, modification there. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very cool. Um, I I would like to um, go as um, uh, John Carter, but uh, um, I'm not sure the uh, the neighbors would like me running around in a John Carter. uh, (laughs) And you know, I don't have those ripped abs that he has. That's what I'd like to go as, but uh, you know, um, I, I think if I were going to go, I would go as uh, as Sully as well. Ooh. Monster Zinc is really big right now, and uh, I really like Sully. I think that that would be a fun costume to walk around in. That would be awesome. And you, sir? Well, same here. The kids are too old to uh, really dress up for Halloween, which is kind of uh, kind of sad on a certain level. But growing up is growing up. But um, my costume, I came up with. They don't sell, and I can't believe anybody didn't come up with this. Are you ready for this, Bob? Yes. I will not be going as the Yeti. Uh I will be going as Joe Rohde. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to get the nice ear thing, you know, just get the jackets and clothes. I'm going to walk around like a Disney rock star. But but wouldn't wouldn't people just think that you're Jack Sparrow without the hat? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no? no, or the Dream Finder, <laughs> <laughs> or the Dream, or the Dream <laughs> without without the beard. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I think there's enough Disney people out there that are actually into it. They would go buy a Joe Rohde costume. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, be kind of cool. Uh, kind of cool. I tell you, another one I'd like to see is uh, from uh, Treasure Planet. The uh, the cyborg in Treasure Planet. That's one of my. I love Treasure Planet. It's uh, based uh, loosely on uh, uh, Treasure Island, and uh, the cyborg is the bad guy. He's pretty cool. He's got uh, one eye and and a peg leg and all that stuff. It's kind of cool. That is cool. Yeah, I'd like to. That that would be fun to go as. I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> my my costumes are way too intricate. You're putting a few <laughs> beads in your hair and a. <laughs> and slapping on a mustache and going, there That's it is, right. I'm done. I'm just calling myself Joe. <laughs> <laughs> just just wander around talking to people about Avatar Land that That's nobody right. wants. To, oh, that I that was too soon. <laughs> I'm pointing out there, just you know, <laughs> it'll go out there somewhere. And then and then people are mad at you because the Yeti's not working. So see, I see it comes yeah. all full circle. He for wants me. the Yeti to come back. I think this is that that is out of his hands. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I tell you another one that I've always because I'm a big Star Wars fan. I would love to go as a stormtrooper. Oh, uh, how cool would that know, be? Yeah, we were down there during uh, uh, Star Wars weekends, and and I tell you what, those people make their own costumes down there, and and they are perfect. They are. They spend so much time working on those things. I would I would love to have one of those. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, here's a really quick story, and this just happened last week. So we're driving around. The family's in the car. Actually, I think it's uh, my daughter and a friend of hers. And I look to the side, and there's a you know a small car, a guy driving it in the passenger seat, a stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> no, actually, just I don't know if it was a a huge doll or some guy wearing a suit, but <laughs> and everyone in the back is like, take a picture, take a picture. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh, that was yeah, that was that was <laughs> that cool. is that is pretty. That's one way to get on those uh, multi uh, passenger car lanes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. 
Well, I, I wish I could say that's all I got. That's not all I got, Tim. You have more? I've got more. Oh, it's like a bonus. What do you got? <laughs> I have bonus content coming up. This is going to be quick, folks. Okay. This is this is this is uh, one of those contests. If you remember, a couple of weeks ago, Disney had the uh, the contest where you could uh, apply, sign up for a chance to. Uh, go into uh, Expedition Everest, and they would give you a little bit of a behind-the-scenes tour of Expedition oh, yes. Everest. And they were only allowing 10 people at a time so uh, for the uh, per day. So for the whole week, you only had 50 people that got to go. I, of course, got the rejection letter from Disney, um, which is at least better than the cease and desist that I'm anticipating <laughs> at any moment. Exactly. The restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but here it is. This is and, and get on this right now because uh, uh, it's only good for next week. They're doing this next week already. Got to move fast. Uh, Got to move fast and keep an eye on uh, Disney's uh, uh, or our, our Facebook page because I'm posting these as soon as they come in. But it's uh, Disney Parks. You sign up for a chance to tour the gardens at Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival. Oh, so if you're one of those folks that really is into the whole gardening thing and wants to know what kind of uh, plant that is, what kind of tree that is, what kind of flower that is, that would be a lot of fun, I think. I would think so. What's the pH of the soil? Absolutely. And the beauty of that thing is you actually get tickets to get inside. So uh, What? You, yes. You're not, you're not allowed to bring a guest. It's just okay. you. That's it. But park admission is provided uh, as part of the event. That is pretty cool. So you'll be assigned uh, whatever date next week. So if you're going to be down there, you know that's that's the time to to, to try and and uh, and do it. And I know a lot of people are going down there for food and wine, the wrap up, and uh, and uh, Mickey's not so scary. So give it a shot. I say you, you got to so, enter. You can't enter. All, you can't win if you don't enter. No, you can't. It's already up on our Facebook page. So check out our Facebook page uh, forward slash Resort Loop and. Uh, and do that so i will say this uh getting back to our our show topic i have seen pictures and i'm sure you have too tim one one of the best costumes i have seen yet coming out of uh, uh mickey's not so scary and, and the whole halloween theming down there is uh people that dress up as the grim grinning ghost or the hitchhiking ghosts Oh, I love the Haunted Mansion characters. They really do it up. It's almost like a black light thing, and uh, it is just so cool. It, it really looks uh, realistic, so I really like those costumes. That's pretty cool. I would wear more costumes, but I'm uh, unattractive enough as it is. I don't need to play it up. <laughs> <laughs> I like to dress up, but, uh, you know, people talk. So That's true. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I got, Tim. Excellent. That's all I have as well, so... Everybody, thanks for listening. And you heard the open. Please send in your own open. Send them, uh, email them, or just put them on the looper line. Area code 414. WDW. Loop. I love that. <laughs> me too. Also, you can follow uh, me on Twitter. I'm Resort Loop Tim. There's the yeah. website, resortloop.com. And I'm uh, Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter. And of course, like I said, forward, uh, Facebook forward slash Resort Loop. Check out that uh, contest going on. And uh, don't forget to rate us on uh, iTunes. We appreciate that. We love the iTunes reviews. And uh, wherever else you're going to listen to, especially on the Stitcher, which we are just we're getting a lot of great action off the Stitcher. We're getting a lot I, of action. People love the Stitcher. Yes, they do. And uh, and I can understand why, because <laughs> uh, last week I had some issues with the uh, the iTunes uh, podcast uh, app on my phone. And mm -hmm. uh, I ended up having to go to the Stitcher for uh, for our shows and, and for some other shows that I like to listen to. So. Right. There you go. Excellent. That's all I got, Tim. Excellent. Me too. Thanks, Bob. Thank you very much. Once again, this is ResortLoop.com, the gateway to the magic. See you, everybody. We are oot. And don't let your wife steal my line anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was so was excited awesome. to say that. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> oh, man.